the 1st of October brought us an NBA trade of the big-name variety. For the troubled Dennis Rodman, it's a good news, good news situation. First, someone must have located him and tell him he was traded. Rodman goes from Detroit to San Antonio. Rodman threatened to sit out the entire upcoming NBA season if San Antonio didn't renegotiate the final year of his contract. Instead, the Spurs today traded the controversial Rodman to the Chicago Bulls. These are being this way because it's more, you know, it's sexier. Now, Dennis, are you wearing something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue? Well, I'm only blue inside. <laughs> <laughs> Mark Schwartz has more on L.A.'s decision to waive the worm. He wasn't here on time. He wasn't going to be ready on time. And I just didn't want to make those considerations anymore. In the end, who would have thought Carmen Electra would have gotten more out of her marriage to the worm than did the Lakers? Dennis Rodman did Dallas and is done. It may not have been productive, but it's certainly been eventful. With Rodmonian's 29-day run with the Mavericks, he was charged with drunken driving, suspended by the league once, ejected twice, and he was in on that 4-9 Dallas record. to uh, basically finish my career the way I want to. Dennis, you know there's going to be a certain amount of doubters out there who are thinking, well, maybe this is just another stunt that Rodman is trying to pull because you've been gone for a while. Well, <laughs> that's one of the things that's really has haunted me for the last three or four years that uh, anything that Dennis does is a stunt. Uh, really, it's not a stunt. I think this, this is a serious bit right now for me to come back. Number one obstacle to him coming back is he's 42 years old, plain and simple. It would be just a physical anomaly for him to be able to, to play basketball at this level. He's one of the greatest rebounders in NBA history. There's no denying that. He's a phenomenal athlete. I don't want to take anything away from him, the athlete. But Dennis Rodman, as a person, was quite frankly horrific. I mean, I don't think he has any place in this league. I don't think he belongs back in this league. A lot of people wanted to see me come back because I think a lot of people knew back in the day that I got... I got this whole concept that he turns around and becomes uh, like a Mr. All-American guy. In other words, out comes the rings, no facial hair, and he goes back to what he used to look like. I think it would freak people out. What have you been doing to keep yourself in basketball shape? Well, over the last two years, I've, <laughs> I've been really just going nuts as far as like just partying and doing a lot of this crazy stuff, whatever, you know. But uh, I think that, uh, over the last four months, I lost 18 pounds, and, and my body fat is down to 10 percent now. So I've been really, I've been really trying to uh, focus on mentally trying to get my mind prepared to uh, to go down that, that rough and uh, ragged road right now. His body's taken a beating over the last few years, and I don't mean on the court. Uh, you know, he has done a lot of drinking, and his working out has been sporadic to non-existent for most of that time. If I average 13, 14 rounds a game, I think a lot of people should kiss my ass because 14-year-old guys should be doing it. Well, I think Dennis could contribute uh, even today at his, at his advanced age. Uh, he's always been a great athlete. Uh, but the problem is the baggage that he's carried over the past uh, 10 years has really turned off uh, a lot of teams uh, who don't want to have the distractions and the hassles, especially for, at this point in his career, would be a role player. 
Uh, you just don't need that on your ball club. I'm gonna be Dennis Rodman. That's the reason why you got me. That's the reason why you want me, because I am an entertainer. You know, I'm an entertainer. I go out there and do my job and, and go home. I don't need to be friends with anybody. I don't need to associate with anybody. My job is to go out there and help my team win, hoping that uh, that team will be balanced enough that we can go to the championship. That's my job. You know what? Your past counts. I mean, I don't mean to be harsh because I do think he deserves a chance, but your past counts. And when people look at that, they start to think to themselves, well, do I really want to take a chance on this guy? Are you in negotiations with any team right now, Dennis? Or are you talking to anybody? Well, right now, I'm just, I'm, I'm doing this so all the teams around the league can give me the, the courtesy to uh, at least give me a call, uh, give me an opportunity to go and try out and at least try to uh, um, let me go and prove myself that I am worthy of uh, at least 20 to 25 minutes a game and, and average maybe 10 rebounds a game and, and, and try to help the team, you know, try to you know, pursue a championship. You know what, I think you'd have a better chance of hitting Lotto than, than Dennis Rodman playing basketball this year. And that's not to say that he wouldn't necessarily be capable, but I don't know if there's anybody who's going to want to take that risk. And because there's, make no mistake about it, it is a risk. All right, dude. Nice to see you. Right. You know what? It only gets better and better. You know, the Dennis Rodman you know, era is on its way. I think part of it is that to Dennis, comeback doesn't mean merely going to the gym and getting back on the basketball court. Comeback means I'm back, baby. I think also he probably misses the public eye. Uh, it, it gives you a sense of importance, you know, a sense of self, uh, a sense of belonging. Uh, and I think a lot of people, uh, depending upon their personality and their, and their psychological makeup, uh, they thrive upon that, and they are in a constant state of trying to uh, find that. Welcome, 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 yeah. welcome back. Yeah. Everything cool? Perfect, yeah. Well, that's some fun. How you guys? How you doing? Yeah, it's been a while. Hello, Dennis's agent. This is Dennis's wife. Oh, how are you? Nice to see you. How are you? Dennis, you have very good taste. You have terrible taste, but you have very good, you have very good taste. You do have yeah. terrible taste. Hey, he's a good guy. Cool. <laughs> well, welcome, buddy. We'll talk a little bit. I'll come see you. All right. Tendo's one of my good friends here in L.A. So I, if he was kind enough to let me on the show again, for my 10th, 11th time now, we'll talk about various things like Kobe Bryant, Dennis Rodman returns to the NBA, uh, Beautiful beast, the wedding. I mean, all these different things that we always talk about. Please welcome Dennis Rodman! You know, your goggles are fogging up. I Can love you see it, me? Huh? Can you see me? <laughs> there you go. There you go. There you go. All right. All right. You got, it. You, got it. you got another one. You got another one. I got another pair. <laughs> all right. How about that? How about that? I feel like I'm playing right. strip poker with you out here. Jay is funny. He's funny today. That's probably the biggest show in the world that you can do anything for publicity or any any uh, type of advertising. That's Jay Leno. The rest of the day, I'm going to work, definitely going to work out, get that out the way. Um, then after that, like I told you, parto, parte, parton. So we can go have a good time tonight, have a couple of cocktails, then wait, wake up in the morning tomorrow and work out again. You know. What about you, Daniel? Just some and then I just guns? Get, I just work out and go to work. That's the deal. I get, get, get some guns? <laughs> yeah. And if I don't make it, believe me, like I said, I'm going to make it. It's going to be now or halfway during the season next, right, this season. So, but I'm going to make it. I am going to make it. Somehow, some way, I will be there.
Hi, Andy Bryce, real quick. Thank you for calling on your email with the Cleveland Cavaliers. How may I help? Hi, Jim Paxton. Hi, Jim. Darren Prince, Dennis Rodman's agent. Giving you a call. Uh, I haven't spoken to you in. I was with him as an agent for the past two years. And we tried making the comeback last year. He wasn't even close. I mean, it was just hype at that point. So when it happened this time, I just knew he was for real. He pulled me aside and said, we're going to make it happen. Thanks for calling the Memphis Grizzlies. Please listen to the following options as our options have changed. What's going on? Well, it's kind of an exciting time here for, for us and Dennis. Uh, you know, if we can get... Uh, your support in any way, shape, or how would be. Well, you know, it's basically if he wants to, you know, get back into the fold. He knows so much about the game. The meetings, the shoot-arounds, you got to show up. Right. When was the last time you and Dennis spoke? You know, time flies, you know, whatever, but I, I don't remember when it was. Okay, hang on, let me get him on. Yeah, I got Hey, I got, uh, I got Chuck Daly on. DR. How are you doing, Chuck? How are you? Either, Great. What have you been doing? I hear you're working out. Yeah. Last uh, two and a half, three months, I've been really working out really hard, you know, just, and uh, I'm ready to rock. Well, that's good. You know, I mean, there was no question that you could ever do it physically. Well, I, I know you too well, you know. He, he said one thing, you know, you know, no one can ever make you do anything unless you want to do it yourself. Exactly. You've got to want to do it. And, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing you. Absolutely. Chuck, thank you again. All right, guys. And uh, Dennis, love you. Love you too, baby. Take care. Bye-bye. Some of the concerns that teams have with Dennis is his off-the-court antics. Even his on-the-court, you know, behavior. Uh, sometimes can make a general manager or a coach nervous. The teams we're speaking with right now are uh, the Detroit Pistons, the Cleveland Cavaliers, Indiana Pacers. I think Miami is another very strong possibility. The other teams I'm waiting to hear back from Kiki Vanderlei, hopefully it'll be today or tomorrow, about setting up the practice for Dennis, practice session within the next few days. the product vis-a-vis -vis workouts tryouts practice what have you can he still physically go out and be productive as a basketball player can he bring something to the table uh, that's not just going to pique the interest of, of a casual fan but also help a basketball team ultimately win games because that's at the end of the day what the business is all about was a general manager I wouldn't want the distractions either it's about your own individual team and about you have to assess uh, what uh, strengths and weaknesses that Dennis would bring to your ball club and right now the weaknesses probably outweigh the strengths uh, tenfold over or a sudden basketball my name is Thera Mustafa I work for Pyramid Technologies in Irvine, and I babysit Dennis part-time. Waiting for Dennis to get his ass out here so we can get to the gym before he's got to go to this trip to New York. We've been close, close friends for about seven years, I'd say. Shut up. Shut up. I'm busy right now. I'll call you back. I'll call you back. It's already 6.30. It's 6.40 right now. Grab your clothes. I'll put them in my car, and then I can pick, I'll pick you up at the gym. People talk about me all the time. Every leech that hangs out with Dennis talk about me. I've never gotten anything from Dennis besides friendship. Anyone that wants to say that my friendship is suspect, show me what I'm gaining and show me what I'm giving up. And you can decide for yourself. I'm packing for New York. Howard Stern, a big party. Not quite sure what to wear in New York because it's not LA. <laughs> so, taking a few options. But I have to say, 
pack pretty lightly for a girl. I am Michelle. Michelle Rodman now, officially, of just a few months. But actually been with him for really almost four years. And the mother of two of his babies. We've got a two and a half year old and a one and a half year old. What did I do? Marriage license. Marriage license. First of all, I'm panicked because I'm scared to death to fly. Second of all, I panic because I'm a dentist. And when it comes to this kind of stuff, he's very impatient. There, the, the airport is 10 minutes away. Will you give me... Where's your luggage? Do you want oh, me to be stressed oh, out? Let me smoke I'm a cigarette. I'm stressed out. You guys are going to miss your flight. Do you have your IDs and all that stuff? I need to fix makeup, too. Do you see what I deal with? Two flaky individuals. Well, he's going to be late, so I'm going to be late. And it's, it's a nightmare. They have a 915 flight. It's going to take us like 10, 15 minutes to get to the airport. But I guarantee when we get there, he's not ready to go. I don't have no idea why I deal with this. Friendship, I guess. Okay. You're Bye. down. is unbelievable he's never ever gonna have to worry about age you know they talk about guys who are 40 years old and doing whatever this guy can play that he's 50. this is part two of the adventure go get dennis out of the gym now and get him to the airport dennis doesn't trust a lot of people I don't know that Dennis realizes that Bear is there because he's his friend, not for any other reason. But it makes me feel good because I got somebody else that actually is on my side, that cares about him, that wants him to, to succeed, that wants him to move forward, that doesn't want him to sit around at bars all day and do nothing with his life. How you doing, bro? All right, Dad. Yeah. The adventure's going to New York. Oh, New York, huh? People everywhere. The Howard Stern, we did Howard Stern. Then we had to go to some gig in what place it was, I don't know, what, Jersey somewhere. What is it, seven, right? Yeah, seven to four. Today, I'm going to go in and explain to him where we're at with certain teams, just going to see where his head is at. And you know, what he's thinking. I always like to get his input. A lot of times, Dennis Joe doesn't give me much input, and that's it. Hopefully, my phone rings a few times from these general managers, finally, and we could uh, set up some, some tryouts for next week. I need some of your input with some of these teams. With Cleveland's a young team. I got LeBron James. I know you said you don't want to do much babysitting, but how do you feel about going to a team like Cleveland's? Well, I told you I want to go to a losing team. They can't go any worse than they did last year. What's the difference if you go in there and Michael going to Washington? It's almost the same situation. You take a team like that into the playoffs, you're a hero. Just like Michael? Do I pursue it? No. Okay. Uh, Joe Dumars. Uh, I'm going to get him on the phone with you probably early next week. That might be a situation. I don't know. You're going to have to earn a starting spot. It's going to be tough for you coming off the bench. Come on, dude. I don't care. I don't really don't care if I come off or not. Okay. I guess you could prove yourself as the season progresses. Uh, Pacers. Like I said, just yeah. like all the teams, we're not in this season. Okay. Um, this is probably the most untalented team, but just because Chuck Daly uh, hooked up a conference call with Dipper Sage, the uh, Memphis Grizzlies, I think they sell maybe 25% of the stadium out right now. If you go there, it's going to be a sellout. So that's probably what they're looking at, marking opportunity to bring you in there. I spoke to... Uh, Randy Fun from Miami. Pat Riley is going to come back next week. I think he's in Italy right now. They definitely have interest in you. You and Miami might be a problem. What do you think? Have a good time out there? No Thank problem. you for having No problem. Anyway, <laughs> really. 
Denver, Kiki Vandewey. Uh, Denver could be a great opportunity. Seems like they've made a few moves in the past couple of weeks. And they got Carmelo Anthony. Yeah, I think they need to sell out the stadium, number one. Number two, you probably have a pretty damn good shot at winning a stunning position there. Just give me your top two Detroit. choices that you prefer to play for. Detroit, yes. Detroit? Yeah. And what about your second? Give me your second choice on the list. Miami, I guess. Miami. All right, I'll get to work. Good. Passing Times Square, going to a, a nightclub that uh, supposedly that I'm throwing a party at. I never wanted to do that in the first place. You know, but everybody, hey, we gotta get you out there, we gotta put you in here, we gotta do this, we gotta do that. But everything you put me in so far is parties. love attention he might happen to like it a little more than some <laughs> but it's all it's the bottom line is is it can he still play can he still compete at the highest level and um, what kind of shape is he in physically saying all the right things about building the program and building the organization back up from the ground up and they were doing all the right things and all of a sudden you hear about them bringing Dennis Rodman and we kind of thought Kiki was selling out to sell out the, the arena. It's kind of like Tupac. Is he still alive? You know, he's been gone, but everybody thinks he's still around. Is Dennis still around? Can he still play? I don't know. I don't know what to expect. Can he still play? He's 42 now. He's not... 35-year-old Dennis Rodman, 30-year-old Dennis Rodman playing for the Pistons. He's 42. And there's been a three-year layoff, and there's going to be some rust there. And we haven't seen you play. You know, all our players were curious. Every single player on the team, I went and asked them, they, uh, they kind of will say, well, you know, geez, you know, let's, let's see if he can still play. Um, you know, because if he can, he could, he could help us. So the few people I talked with, it was like, you gotta be kidding. Because now, you, now you're on the Rodman watch. Now you had to check the police blotter every morning when you woke up before going into work. You're going to have to see, you know, you have to start talking to all your buddies at the bars. Hey, was Dennis here? And, you know, what dress was he wearing? And it was going to be 
All of a sudden, you weren't going to be covering sports. You're going to be covering a circus. At the end of the day, this is an entertainment business. And, uh, you know, you got to face it. Uh, you know, Dennis is interesting to people. He talked to Makiki. In his mind, it's, it's not a done deal. There's nothing scheduled as of now. I don't know if there will be anything scheduled later. It's hard to tell if it will ever happen. Me, myself, I'd like to see it. The last three years with Dennis have been a party. Nothing but drinking and drinking and drinking. We actually lived together for a very short period of time. I was actually pregnant, and we all, we already had the one baby. So we moved in, and then I thought, you know, maybe it would slow everything down, and it didn't slow anything down. So when he was gone, I packed up everything and moved out. And we both made the decision to live separately. It's a decision that we both made which I want to make very clear. You know, people think I'm, I'm the dumb girl that lives up the street and Dennis gets to do whatever he wants. <laughs> that isn't how it goes. Da, 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 da. Hey, hey, DJ, look. Who's there? Who's there? I honestly believe that he wants to be a dad. He wants to be a good dad. He wants to be a good husband. He wants a home with his kids running around and jumping on him. I, I really think that truly in his heart, he wants that, but getting it is just hard. <laughs> Not today? I definitely think Dennis is afraid. Definitely. But anyone that he's ends up with that he you know gives himself to he's definitely afraid of them hurting him or taking things from him or you know walking out walking away or screwing him over in any way and, I'm, and that's what i think he's been getting since he became famous <laughs> come back this way this way yo hey hey i know those kids dude well, uh, besides her and those kids, it's about the closest thing I got to heaven. The closest ever. Sometimes it hurts me, and uh, mostly I can't, I can't, it's going to sound really weird. I can't be around them. It kills me. Gabriel two weeks he did have interest two weeks ago but I spoke to uh, Randy Funk from Miami they don't want to do anything right now with you they said to please keep our mouths kind of you know on the QT with it they don't want any press getting out there man I'm running into roadblocks everywhere I turn and there's still uh, you know a couple opportunities but I just uh, I stopped coming John Paxton trying to get a scrimmage Take a look at that guy. Yeah. Hey, 86, the whole idea. I'll talk to Dennis in like a half an hour, 45 minutes, and I'll call you back if you want. Probably, is this a mission for you, me, Dennis? We're getting done. Somehow, some way, we're getting this guy back. Hey, what are you guys doing? Hi, how are you? Look at We heard this place is fun. Oh, honey, it is fun. This is a 42-year-old guy. Even someone who five years ago had the ability to drink heavily and bounce back in an uncanny fashion like Dennis would have to think, well, I'm 42, I probably need to drink a lot less and work out very religiously. If what he wants is to play in the NBA at all costs, then what he should be doing is taking 
very obvious uh, steps, even if they're symbolic ones, to show that he wants to be back in. Right now, I think what matters for Dennis is drinking and just hanging out. So all these people that want to drink and hang out with him, Dennis isn't a loser. He's, he's a very, I mean, he's an incredible man. But if you were to look at it, it's almost like saying, you know, these are all the losers here, and he's like king of the, lo the losers. De Derek, right now, Derek, get your ass away. Now, I'm going to tell you what's going on. I don't need you. Seriously, I'm going to tell you right now. I don't need you for nothing. Say sorry, Darren. Give me a kiss. Say sorry, Darren. I won't ever do that. Darren, he hates to love you and loves to hate you. You know what, Darren? I don't need you. I don't need, I don't need you at all. How did I make my career without your ass? Hello. You weren't 42 years old, brother. No, you guess what? 42 years old. I know what I'm doing. They're still making fun of you. Who they cares? Who cares? Teams are interested. No teams are interested. Team Minnesota called you and said, never mind. You promised, you, you, you swore to me you'll leave. Of course. You swore I will. To me. There, I'm telling you. I will. The there, but leave. No, I think you will be on the court, but not if he keeps drinking like this. Hey, Darren. Was I running hard in Chicago? Are you running for it? No, it's for the drinking. Put on that note. You'll be What? Doing what? And guess what? Thank you. A lot harder I'm doing now. A lot harder. And guess what, honey? And guess what? I'm still doing it. That's when I was. Infamous. Fame. Miss. When everyone was kissing my ass. And no one said I you're 42 years old now, and you have a family and a wife that you need to take care of and you need to get your life together. You're 42. You know what? You, you, you'd be happy with what you have, and you have your own family. I know. I my life up. I did it. If you think it was stupid, I'm not stupid. You know, I made my life the way it is. I had to pass my club to people who like me. To like me. To like me. So how? Well, shut up. Don't hit. Oh, it's all loud. It's all loud. It's all loud. to meet with Reebok, uh, the ad agency for Reebok, Coors, Visa. My, my buddy's place, Ryan Shimon Platinum, right? He's the king of endorsements, and we're here yeah. to talk about, you know, whatever we could talk about. Don't do it. Uh, I'm waiting for Dennis to sign with his team already. Yeah. <laughs> you've been promising, you've been promising exciting with the team. Ryan, when he's on the team, we'll do some deals. Yeah. I'm sitting here like a lady in waiting, and, yeah. uh, and, and you haven't pulled the trigger yet. You know, our company is the largest buyers of celebrity talent and music licensing in the country for Fortune 500 companies. 10 to 15 percent of the commercials that are out there or appearances or endorsements, you know, uh, come through our office. You know, he's 42 years old. He can't be the party animal his whole life. And well, he can be, but not when you're trying to make a company no. in the NBA. You know, be an athlete slash entertainer or just want to be an entertainer and that way I'll go drink and do whatever I want. It's not going to have any ramifications on me. Trying, trying to play a professional sport. Right. That's what you have to balance because otherwise it really doesn't matter. Yeah. But at the end of the day, no Fortune 500 company is going to, you know, touch a guy, touch a guy who's getting an accident, there's a liability, who can wind up in jail. Yep. You know, and then we'd have to pull a spot, pull an ad, yep. and, and then we'd be in, 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 in real trouble at this point. Yep. It's not about building a brand for sure. It's just a straight endorsement. That, that's all it would be because right now Dennis isn't somebody you want to brand much of a risk to build a, a brand off of that that's for sure hey hey, hey. Damn. all right uh, we're getting ready to leave we're fine coming out on the 12th on the evening of the 12th 
So it'll be Dennis, myself. His, his wife might come with us too, I don't know. Already have a great weekend. Thank you. Kiki Vandaway and the Denver Nuggets want to see Dennis do some two on twos and some drills on the 12th. But uh, we're flying to Croatia. And we're going to Croatia for a TV show. It's uh, it's the biggest show in Croatia. Daddy's gotta go out of town. Way across half court, across the world, ain't. Hey. <laughs> Be honest with you, I didn't know anything about that trip. All I knew was I was just going over there. Dennis never wants to know in advance what's going on. Just tell him right when you get there, and that's good. I think that he'll warm up to the idea and be a rock star once he gets there. I love it. When we got off the plane, it was it was an incredible reception that we received. The whole world knows who Dennis Rodman is. Uh, not so much anymore than they were 10 years ago when he was uh, still an outstanding basketball player. Uh, Dennis, the basketball days uh, are long gone. Or do you still uh, feel that you got the chance to play among the NBA? I'm going to go back and start working on hoping that uh, I get picked up by a team. So if I do, I'll come back next year. You know, I'm not the greatest thing that we hit Croatia, no. Guess what? There's another plane coming in. Probably somebody else. So I don't know what to say. Are you happy to be here? Well, I've got my drink. <laughs> what was that? I don't know what the hell this is, but it tastes good. Yeah. Just don't be afraid of me. Just make sure that we have plenty of condoms. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's go. His image is uh, Playboy, wild man slash super athlete, and. No matter what he does, he has to keep up with that image, whether he wants to or not. I think it's likely that he misses the, uh, the pomp and circumstance and uh, is trying to get back in the mix. I can understand why it's so hard to walk away. What else is going to give you that attention? And, uh, you know, certainly he, he ate that up. We're walking around the town square, and the dentist is like the Pied Piper. Everybody that sees him, people just start, like, jumping in. Who's that guy? There he is. <laughs> <laughs> this guy shows up everywhere. A lot of people can't attract crowds, you know, just walking. There's guys carrying life-size posters of Dennis they want signed. I mean, there's people everywhere. It's like a music video or something. It's incredible. So we duck into a CD store, of all places. A little CD store, tiny little one. And um, he started buying all these kids' CDs. Give what you want. Give what you want. It's like, he's doing it because he wants to make sure that everyone knows that he's a good guy. Well, he's doing it because uh, he's on camera. He's doing it because... Uh, he has to do this, no. That's just the way I am. Hey, I don't care about CDs. They want your autograph. Oh, they want your autograph. You're no. my favorite basketball player. So, wait. Give the yeah. CD you want. What the CD you want? Get one. Uh, We're going to go shoot the TV show Nightmare Stage, which is Croatian version of Jackass and Saturday Night Live. We've made it to the show, and they bring Dennis in. Oh, this, yeah, yeah. And then they do these skits. And it was the funniest. I don't understand most of the stuff they're doing. This is for real. This is just not an act. The show was unbelievable, and Dennis was perfect in it. All right. See you later. All right. See you, brother. When we left there, we went to a club. When we got there, it was a zoo. It was packed wall to wall with people. Everywhere you look, there's good looking guys and good looking girls, and it was incredible. We had champagne, we had this, we had that. You name it, we had everything. It was, it was great. Probably this is going to be the last hurrah. Give it hell one last time.
before he steps back on the court and goes for tryouts with Denver on the 12th and 13th of this month. And uh, then, then it's back to business. I mean, it's back to really doing what he does. And that's being the best rebounder the league has ever seen. Oh, yeah. to Dennis how important a family is. They, you know, your kids have no idea who you are. No idea who you are. This is the first. Him and his dad playing ball. Ah. I think this comeback is definitely going to get him back into... Hey, life is pretty cool. And these, and these kids, I want them to look up to me. I don't want them to go, yeah, my dad could have been this or could have done this and could have been this but you know the last thing that was said about him was he was some drunk husband you know i don't he definitely doesn't want that no. let's go see my kid out there you know, running around hey, Dad, he's doing this little thing he's off in his little world i'm off my world situation ended up where um, I was out of town and uh, you know, couldn't do it at the time, but Darren wanted to do it. You know, we, we were trying to do our due diligence. And it's uh, kind of the process that I try and go through with all the players is, is talk to a lot of people, do some due diligence on what what's going on in the guy's life right now. And, and uh, so no different for Dennis. And I think what, what, what we came up with was, well, let's, let's see how things play out for a little while. The people in Denver will be over there for the title. Uh, I don't say it now. Because people want them, the players want them. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens tomorrow. Um, I guess I'll, I'll be there. I guess I'll be there. Some way, somehow, I'll be there. Next, the season, Rodman on the rebound. More trouble for basketball bad boy Dennis Rodman. Police cited him for misdemeanor DUI. They say he crashed a motorcycle outside a local gentleman's club. I would like to just get me up, get me up, take me to the hospital, let them stand up, and then let it roll. Michelle was pretty serious about this this morning. You know, I'm crying hysterically before. This is the last shot thing. Not only am I 
gone and his kids are gone, but his career is gone. He's pretty much just lost everything. So if this isn't a wake-up call, I don't know what is to him. The reality is that Dennis is learning that he's dying of a slow death because he didn't make the NBA. The NBA made him. Got a call from his agent, Darren Prince, in regards to me bodyguarding Dennis in the past. And he was wondering if I was interested in doing it again. And he kept saying, well, if I can guarantee you he's not going to drink, will you do it? And I'm thinking, you have no idea who your client is. That's not Robin's rebound. They've been filming you for four months and they got one workout? How is that a rebound? That's a funeral right there, bro. The hindsight of this whole thing is, in a matter of a week, this whole thing could be turned around.
I think this, this affects the comeback big time. I mean, here's this man that's been training the gym for the past like, five, six months now, you know, just doing it, and then going back to the court for the past three weeks, and for all this to happen, it's the big downfall, and it, it kind of worries me. Because I know I, I, want, I want to see his dream come true to make his comeback so he can leave with a positive note instead of making that comeback and get up again. Dennis has been sleeping in his room, just pain, just pain. When, I, when he woke up this morning, he wanted to get up, but he couldn't, and I just gave him his medication, his painkillers, and well, hopefully it's a wake-up call saying, you know, next time I'm drunk, I will never go on a motorcycle. I don't know where Dennis is right now. I'm hoping he's on his way home from Vegas, and I'm hoping that he doesn't go back. Dennis and I, we've been kind of having problems the last month, and I finally have just come to a point in my life where the kids are just more important and they need more. Go out there, Jenny. Go out there. Go. Maybe I am important. Maybe the kids are. And and I don't doubt that we are, but the only time we are is when he's sober. <laughs> Get out there. I actually hope that he's gonna make a change and go to rehab. to bring him in for whatever reason it didn't work we were still kind of you know kind of toying with the idea and then of course dennis had a few brushes with the law and i think that really kind of threw cold water on the, on everything for us and one minute it seems like he wants to come back one minute he doesn't then you see the arrest so the last thing teams want to do is take a risk on somebody so Sometimes you gotta look in the mirror and say, maybe I'm the one that caused the situation that I'm in now. What can I do to fix it? Lord, please help us. Please bless this man. Show him the right path so we can get him back in the NBA. That's all I'm asking. <laughs> Well, I think the reality is, is that Dennis is learning that he's dying of a slow death because he didn't make the NBA. The NBA made him. He's made such an effort to market himself as being this eccentric, wild, out of control, ridiculous individual that why would you want to hire him? So this isn't someone who's uh, 30, 31 years old. This isn't Isaiah Ryder who may, if he gets himself in shape, have a career left. This is a guy who's had a career and has done a lot of harm and damage to his body and now wants to come back at that age. It's just, you know, it's not realistic in some ways. system if you have a drink you will become violently ill 
of taking this pill through the court order is someone else has to administer it. And I signed an affidavit saying that he's taking the pill. What up, bro? So what do you want to do today, kid? You want to do some upper body? Right. Well, go ahead and take a second and get ready with this upper body, bro. Because now he's getting ready to learn how to live his life sober. Uh, you know, look, give the guy credit. He, he's taken steps that he hasn't taken before. Does that mean he's permanently uh, sober? No, but it sure uh, means that he's willing to, to swallow his pride and that he has a problem and try. I do feel like I let him down. I, I didn't know it had gotten to this level. The Dennis Rodman that I knew before was just having a good time. From what I'm hearing from people who are around him now, it's not about partying anymore. It's about, you know, this is what I need to cope. What year is it, 2003? Hmm? No, seriously. Yeah. To think that you're going to do all these things and not have to work out, that used to be the case. Now, no, no more. You know, trying to get your body right and get in the gym and just work out and get everything back to back to normal. Back out, back I don't know what he did prior to I got there. But the first day I worked out with him, I had never seen him that week in my life. Three, come on. Two. We would have gotten Dennis to agree to do anything he's doing now three, three months ago. This had to happen this way. You know, everything happens for a reason. I was working out for a year to do what? Maybe 200 pounds. Yeah. It's gonna come back. It's like riding a bike, Dennis. Let's do it. Go. 12. Dennis absolutely hates being forced to do anything, but what's gonna happen is he's gonna change because of it and eventually thank everybody because of it. for Dennis. Obviously, he had a pretty bad crash, and he had uh, some abrasions and lacerations, and we usually leave the sutures in about uh, 10 days to two weeks. So I took the sutures out today, and he was good. He didn't scream. So I think, you know, those injuries should close up, but wait another week or two, reassess it, and see what's going on. Good. Frankenstein. Yeah. Coming back together. Very good. So you finished off your antibiotics. Sutures are out take a week or two, but uh, you're definitely on the downhill side. All right, buddy. Always a pleasure. I knew it was going to be a busy day because I knew you wanted to work out. That was a machine. It helps rejuvenate the legs and get blood flow going through the body. You know, we start with the body and then we move on to the public image. That's what needs to take place. Uh, he's got a really do a big PR campaign of talk about his alcoholism, just to show how sincere he was about this comeback. You know, he did Jay Leno again to get himself out there. 
from what I've seen and heard with Jay, I think he's been the one that's uh, always been really cool with Dennis. I think they're friends. Look, 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 look. He's really generous. He's a really nice guy. I, very family oriented. He's having a hard time accepting this whole alcohol thing. It's you know? embarrassing. To yeah, it's embarrassing. That he you know? doesn't have control over our situation. Oh, well, yeah, we got one minute, Dennis. Uh, 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 he didn't want to be here. He came because we forced him to go. He had no other choice. You ready, Dennis? Hey, Dennis, we gotta go. The new and improved Dennis Last time you were here, we discussed the uh, the NBA return. Right. What happened there? I took a little trip to Vegas. Okay. A little trip to Vegas and, you know, had a little accident. What well, happened? You're in Vegas. I'm in Vegas, had my usual good times. Having a good time. Having a good time. Having a party, having maybe an occasional beer. Having a good time. More than two beers on this one? Well, it's way more than that. Way more. Way more. <laughs> this was the best interview I've ever seen. Ever. Ever. That was the most... Productive. Yeah, he was interview he's ever done. I haven't drank in three and a half weeks. So you haven't had a drink in three and a half nah. weeks. Well, it's very good. That's very good. That's great. Okay. Jay Leno interview went incredible. You know, I don't think he's going to be a preacher on it. You know, you shouldn't drink, you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do that. But, um, you know, I, I think it'll be a, you know, a good thing eventually. And I'm, I, I'm confident that he's strong-minded enough that he's going to win. If anything, people are respecting him even more now. And you know you're a good guy. And see, we want to see you... Be successful. I mean, people really do like you. Yeah. I mean, they do like you a lot. They do. They do. Oh, I like Dennis. I think Dennis is a good guy. If he was a bad guy, he wouldn't be here. You know, it doesn't matter how good or bad it happened to be here. So, I mean, uh, as I said out there, he's a pretty straight shooter. He treats people nice. You know, he's just he's like the world's biggest 14-year-old. Uh, For him to go out there and actually admit that, you know, he's slowing down a little bit, I think that was, that was pretty cool. Flexibility is up. We just gotta rehab that uh, the knee. It would be fine. Brewer has helped in a way by taking the pressure off me. He's helped getting Dennis to the gym, um, administering the interviews, and you know driving him around, taking him to therapy. That's yeah, been really helpful. Oh, that swelling's really gone down. Looks better, doesn't it? Yeah, you haven't been in here in a while. I haven't been in a while. That looks real good. Swelling's coming down from this range of motions improving a lot, too. She's working hard for these knees get right. I really don't expect anybody to take anything too seriously. Not serious unless you see me out there. Like I said, I will be out there. Don't worry about it. Are you okay with that? Without seeing MRIs and things like that, I don't exactly know what he looks like on the inside. I don't know how bad his joint is, but, um... He looks like if he came into me and he was a regular person, I'd say you're right on track, if not ahead of the schedule. The range of motion is getting pretty darn good. I mean, he's still got a little bit of a deficiency there at the end, but what he feels when he's running on it right. or, or trying to move laterally is the biggest problem, right? He seems pretty determined, and, you know, from what I've gathered, he's he's serious about his, this comeback, and I think he's really going to put his all into it. Put his time with three. We'll see. That's good. He's proud of the way he's top. We have a barbecue going on. Some grub. My husband lost a little weight since his accident, so we're trying to get some weight back on him. He's lost a few pounds. The barbecue is kind of a big step. He just wants to focus on his career and getting his life together even staying away from the restaurant. So 
He's doing good. I'm stoked about the way things are turning out. I'm proud of him. I mean, it takes a lot to, you know, admit it and do something about it. Spend a lot more time with the kids, which is really cool. So keep them fingers crossed. That's what I'm doing. Is that the same as this one? Dennis is doing great. He needed something like this. I mean, this is better than it was before. You know, she's spending more time with her husband. A lot more. He's getting back in shape. His therapy's going great. Everything's going good. Everything's better than expected. That was definitely first. Very shocking. I mean, he came up and sat in the living room and watched football and sat on the floor with the kids and, you know, fed them and gave them drinks. And it was amazing. They're showing the fact that they, they're healthy and they got so much energy and they're so alive. You know, I'm getting out to enjoy it, you know, because I'm, I'm around so much now. Introducing Remington. Mr. Rodman, one of the greatest players ever lived and ever played the game, and he has to try out like a rookie. That's all there is to it. If he stays this course that he's on now, he will come back to the NBA and he'll finish the way he wants, and everything will be a happy ending for Dennis Rodman. I'm more like into it now than I was in the beginning. More, it was just like, okay, it's party. Now I'm just more, you know, more in tune to it. And I say now, if I didn't have an accident, I'd be on the team right now. I know that for a fact. I'd be on the team right now. His dream is to come back one more year and play. I will assist him. Once that dream is fulfilled, then I got to get back to my dream. Even if he doesn't make it to the league, I don't give it. Because he's rebounding his life. That's all that matters to me. There's nothing normal about Dennis or about our relationship. And I did know from beginning to end it was never going to be normal. So I definitely took that on knowing that it wasn't gonna be the average, you know, Mr. Rogers, you know, neighborhood kind of deal. Well, I'm gonna try to keep working out right now, keep working out and try to make this comeback a reality and, uh, and make it work. I enjoy it, I enjoy it to the fullest. I don't regret anything, what I've done, playing basketball, nothing. Once it's over, once it's completely over, then, you know, now nah, I'm a normal person now. The show was produced. Dennis Rodman has signed a contract with the Long Beach Jam of the American Basketball Association. The 42-year-old will likely start playing in mid-January. Terms of Rodman's contract are not released. ABA guidelines limit the franchise payroll to a total of $120,000 per season. Thanks for watching the season. Dennis Rodman on the rebound. NBA Fast Break is next.